Welcome back to Kenobi Gardens. Today will be the first proper habitat building video from this park, a fun little area based around the urban legend of alligators in the sewer. It is an idea I have played a bit around with before a while ago, but I have never tried to make it fit into a zoo before. Maybe a bit of a silly concept, but I think I managed to make it fit into this park. The zoo, as you might know, is placed in Australia. I was considering making this for saltwater crocodiles since you can also find similar stories from Australia but with crocodiles instead. But the legend is more often tied with alligators and I wanted alligators in this zoo no matter what since they seem very common in captivity in Australia. So I decided to go with them here. And then we can still educate a bit about the crocodiles on the educational signs. While you can find real examples of crocodiles and alligators that somehow ended up in sewer systems, the legend is more that they basically have a living population down there, which of course is not true. So debunking the myth is part of the story this enclosure will tell. This habitat is placed as part of the entrance area on the right side of the main entrance building. It is a bit of a mix of different styles found in the zoo, since I did not want it to stick out too much. But since I still wanted it to tell about the legend of alligators in sewer systems in big cities like New York, I gave it a bit of a facade like a city canal which the sewer system is connected to. The bigger part of these buildings in the back will end up as a reptile house for both North and South American species, which we will be finishing another day. The smaller part on the right above the sewer is a toilet building. I thought it would be fun to make it look like it was connected to the sewer system, even though it of course is not. Below the toilet building, the guests are also able to walk into what appears as a sewer system. From here they can look into the alligator's water area. So all in all, the style here is made to both be a bit thematic with some city wipes, that also fits the street in front of the zoo, but it also got elements that makes it fit in with the rest of the entrance area. A bit of a challenge to find the right balance here, but I like how it turned out in the end. Getting all the details right here took a while, so I ended up adding a lot to it both in between and after the recording. Especially around the guest entrance of the sewer system, I had to do a lot of work. I also put up some educational signs afterwards, but the design of those might be a bit temporary. I've not really found a style for these kind of things for the park yet. So I quickly made some simple ones so we don't have black billboards standing around. But all this we'll look at later, so I hope you don't mind the building process shown here being a bit incomplete. But that is often how it goes with me anyway. And now that we're here we might as well talk a bit about the new DLC. Do I like it? Well, I'm for sure happy that we keep getting support. But I must admit I'm not super excited for the tropical packet. It feels rather mediocre to me. And while the animal choices themselves aren't bad, they just do nothing to fix the big gaps of certain animal groups that have been in the rooster for a long time now. I very strongly agree with the point of view that we should have seen some birds and or monkeys in this DLC. But no matter what, we are of course going to have fun with it and enjoy it for what it is. The scenery and foliage look like it will fit well into this zoo, so that is always enjoyable even though I was hoping for an animal pack again this time. And the large events are of course perfect for the treetop adventure we already started with the Siamangs. It will be fun to see both species over there, but I guess I might already have to change it a bit to implement the better appreciation mechanics that it looks like we're getting. And let's talk about what else is going on in Kenobi Gardens. Besides from this habitat, it's not a whole lot I have added to the park since we got the Siamang in. I've expanded the entrance area a bit, which you might be able to sense here since I needed it to lead up to this habitat. Along with that, I also added a rather simple staff building that goes along the front of the park, which is also adding a bit to the facade of the zoo from the outside. Then I have decorated the saltwater crocodile area below the Siamang and overall just detailed different areas some more. What I'm planning on doing now is to add in some of the remaining animals I got plans for around the entrance area here. You might be able to sense at the end of the video that we got an enclosure spot next to the alligators, which is currently standing empty. 
So I got a couple of new habitats to build, which I believe are going to be quite basic made, but they will end up looking good as an extension to these areas. Therefore I think I'll not be making building videos out of them, but we might make a little tour of the zoo so far when these things are added. Then you can all stay up to date before we continue, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see how this park evolves over time. I would also like to hear your opinion about speed build videos like this one. I've not done a lot of them lately and tried a bit of some different things instead, but at the moment it seems like YouTube is a bit weird for everyone so it's kinda hard to really get anything going so I don't know if my videos are doing bad because of that or because people are just not interested in them. But I would like to know if you prefer to see every habitat being built like this in a video or if you're okay with some of it showing up when it is finished like I did with the entrance and the siamangs. Now I'll probably probably keep it a mix of both but if it turns out you guys really just want to see the speed build then I might reconsider it. I just feel like there's so much of that on YouTube already so I kinda like to try out some new things from time to time to see if anything else is in people's interest. So let me know in the comments if you have a preference for how I show off new additions to the park here on the channel. The building process here stops a bit suddenly since I ended up fixing most of the sewer system after I ended the recording. Sometimes I just need to build at a bit slow pace to get stuff right and that will not really work well on video. But if you like this habitat then don't forget to give this video a like. I hope you are enjoying the Kenobi Gardens video so far and I hope to be back with some more soon.